Goku, welcome back to Metroid Prime 3! Ooh, you're you're in a great mood today. Who welcome? I love hearing that. Who yes, who? Well, uh, we are completely 100 percent finishing up the pickups today. I beg thine pardon, sir. That's right, we are getting them all. I think I saw you only had eight left. Mm -hmm. So awesome. We have one final thing to get over in Elysia first, before we can move on. Oh, okay, okay. God, this just... It just kind of excites me to know that we're about to take the battle to Dark Samus, and she seemingly has no idea. Well, well, she's been doing great for an entire month. I mean, her Leviathans have been doing their work, she's got all the other bounty hunters under her, under her thumb, the planets are falling, everything is going into place, and then she wakes up, and then, wait, how many... Wait, you b both, all three, what? What? Oh no, oh my god. So do you think there's like a, well, uh, obviously there's a connection because, you know, hive mind for the, for the phase on and everything. I wonder where this dark evil came from. Like, did it come from Samus's personality or the phase on gaining sentience? Well, remember, uh, it started as Metroid Prime. Oh, that's right. It was Metroid Prime. And then, it it, it basically took Samus's phase on suit. Oh, that's right. It did. And it, and it became a person. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. It's been a while since we did Metroid Prime, which that's okay. Yeah, that's where that information kind of. This is this has been kind of a rapid fire kind of series. I understand. Well, I mean, we did what five in a year to the get, get ready for dread and then we were like okay prime's next i know i know it's 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 been a whirlwind tour i understand yeah it's cool uh <clears throat> okay there we go so we've got one missile expansion to pick up and then we've got the other two bits of that observatory to ch check out oh yeah you remember that yeah now we got the spider ball we can go anywhere with Spider Ball. Yeah, when you get when you get the Nova Beam, there is nowhere in the game you can't go now. I do like hearing that. Hi, you have the end game beam. Go nuts. But I prefer if I figure that out compared to the game saying, Samus, you've got everything in your arsenal. You can go anywhere now in the world. Here are the coordinates of of anywhere in the world. Admiral, no, please. Yeah, here's a list of all the places you could go now. Admiral? No! <laughs> oh, hey, you... <laughs> just imagine if all the if all the guys on, on the ship about to take on Dark Samus' Leviathan just started backseating Samus. <laughs> Is that... You missed a missile pack over in Elysia! You're supposed to jump over the tentacles! No, no, kill the Phazoid! You're not supposed to just run by it! Are you sure you're using the beam right? Met phase on Metroids can be killed with the X-ray beam and the, the murder beam or whatever you have right there. Do the rolly thing! The rolly thing! You're doing it wrong! Samus, you're getting hurt! <laughs> I wonder why she doesn't uh, really work with them too much And anymore. that's when you hear a click and then comms are down for some reason. <sighs> you know, I actually, there it is, did you see it? Yes, I did. I actually knew an older gentleman from one of my jobs who actually was able to turn his hearing aid off so people would stop <laughs> talking to him. I was like, all right, that's a mood. Yeah, if I had the ability to do that for certain people, I would. Of course, it's a red face oid. Yeah. I hate these things. It wishes to gain dominance. Ah. Ow. Then they shoot two things that are hard to hit and they blow oh, up hey. and they get too close to it. Stupid damn, like... You found a Kong coin. God, phase on is annoying. Ugh. Another one for a red phaseoid, really? Yeah, you, you you get them for killing red phaseoids because they're really they're really powerful. But see, 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 the game is telling you to use hyper to use hyper mode a lot. But when you use hyper mode, the game's like, what? Wow, you're pretty good, Mister. Uh, uh, thanks, game. But... Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. The, for the thing you told me to do. Yeah, I mean, you know. I thought I could jump to there, but that's a window. What's worse, a game holding your hand or a game constantly giving you praise for things they told you to do? Constantly giving me praise for things they told me to do. Like a constant pat on the back eventually will create a bruise. Yes, I, I need that. I have a praise kink. <laughs> and, and also, whenever a game just 
like I like it when a game is happy I'm playing it. Yeah, you can always tell when when the devs are just like really happy that people are playing their game. Like when Dead Stranding gives me so many likes for just playing the game. Nice. Like, like you logged in. Well, other people are doing your stuff. Here's 17,000 likes for logging in. There you go. All right, so what's this one do? I think it summons Flogra, and then you need to kill it with a sunbeam. It's a rock. Oh. Oh. Goodbye. It's ether information! That's right. This is where the satellites were being set off. Oh, that's uh -huh. great. Fabulous. So I guess you have, like, logbook entries for ether. And, of course... If you can believe it... If you can follow and recognize patterns... I think I can. Is that for this planet that yep. we're currently on? No. Is it for the last area? Talon 4! Oh! That's actually cool. So here's a logbook acknowledging both Metroid Prime 1 and 2. That's all you get. I'd say it's worth it if you're, like, well, a, a huge Metroid Prime fan. There's a few other uh, log entries that say, you know, it's like, here's what Samus did on Metroid Prime 1 <gasps> and Metroid Prime 2. Oh, well, actually, that's that's pretty helpful. Uh, there's a thing around here. Where was it? There's a plate of phaseite around here. And I'm gonna kill it. Oh, wait, no. I'm gonna get this third one. Up here. Oh, right. That's right, there's four things we have to get here. You almost tricked me. I don't like being tricked. I kind of do. Depends if the trick is fun. Samus, there's actually four in that room you need to get. <laughs> yeah, it's another satellite. This is Elysia's, uh, I guess, information. Wait, did it say something about a suit expansion? Yeah, that's where all the pickups are. You know, where it shows... Oh, all right, 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 okay, okay, okay. But the thing is, we already <clears throat> got, got everything. Got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just here to you show it off. Show that it's here. Right, now we go into the X-ray. Uh, it's it's somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Huh? Right here. Oh, shoot really? that thing. Here we go. Oh. Oh, oh me likey. Secret elevator. Hell yeah. Elevator? Nah. Secret logs, maybe? I, I get to put my hand on it. There are two places that we don't get any map information on. It would be the Valhalla, which will be here soon, and the final world. Which means there's one satellite left to fire. Pew! Whoosh! Great effect. It's the Pirate Homeworld suit expansion locations! Oh, that's... that's obvious. <laughs> Surprised I didn't figure that out. Just, my, my little rodent brain couldn't figure it out. Uh, yeah, so which, which one is left? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! The thing is, we got everything there, too. Again, just showing it off. It's what you do. So, we have all of the collectibles from Brio, Norian, and Pirate Homeworld. So we're just missing... here? We're miss... well, we, oh, we got Elysia too. Okay, so that's all four. That's all four. So now, it's time to go to a place that we might have forgotten about. Like, the very first place? No, because we, we've heard that was that's the Olympus. They fuck, oh, okay. they fucked off. They're 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 preparing for oh, war. Okay, they're, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No, we're talking about the Valhalla, the tra the, the the place that was going through a training regimen when the when the space pirates that's attacked. Right. We found the wreckage, and we haven't been there yet. We have not been there yet because huh. we never really had any reason to. Right. Oh, time to go wreck some stuff. Let's go wreck some. Well, it's already kind of wrecked. Time to wreck the stuff more. 
You know how you see a crumpled piece of paper on the floor? Do you ever just pick it up and just crumple it more? Just to show dominance? No, it would hurt, because it's already crumpled. If I crumple it more, it would, it would uh, just push into my skin, because it's already hit. What do you do in your spare time? I crumple paper. <laughs> 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 yeah, I am a rat brain that crumples paper. That's all I do all day. <laughs> well, then you'd be good enough for Metroid Prime 3. Yay! Uh, <laughs> it tells you exactly where to go. Maybe that's why I beat it so long ago. I mean, it's not, like, overly obvious. It does give you plenty of hints, but you can kind of choose your own path. I don't feel like my hand is being held during this game. They just have a constant objective marker, which right. is which is helpful, but yeah. sometimes takes away from the exploration experience. Like, if you give me one area I'm supposed to go to, but a lot of different rooms that I can explore, I'm content. I don't like being told no. I want I want to be I want for me to say myself I can't, then for the game to tell me no. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, I, I, that, that, that needs a double jump. I can't double jump yet compared to Samus. That way is blocked off. You can't go there right now. Turn around and do the main objective. Yeah. Unless if we're in the tutorial phase where that guy's going to get shot anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, that's about the only place it makes logical sense. They don't want you breaking the game too early. All right, we are getting uh, everything else here in the Valhalla. We're getting the rest of the missile expansions, the rest of the energy cells, the rest of the energy tanks, the rest of the gunship missiles. They're all getting got here. I like it. I don't even remember what episode they actually introduced the Valhalla as a place to go. It was a random message we got from the Aurora unit. I think it was uh, during Skytown. Where we are, we figured out a, a plan to to set up a bomb to drop onto the shield, and then we get, hey, Samus, see the the Valhalla's found. Go here if you want. It's like that. Don't want to, computer. Thank you. Bye. Besides, now that we've got everything, we can do everything here in one go. One go. You know, ever since Dead Space gave me a derelict ship filled with aliens, I kind of really liked the setup of. Everyone's did it on this ship. Maybe. Well, let's take a look. Looks a little worse for wear, I gotta admit, but it's not uh, Ishihara bad, that's for sure. A gamer food store. All the Pocky and Mountain Ooh. Dew you could eat and drink. What's that over there? Well, there's all the energy cells. <laughs> I was really hoping this place was like three rooms <laughs> to just collect everything. So the reason why we waited so long to get everything out of this place, you needed all the energy cells. You need all the energy ah, cells. I see, mm -hmm. I see, I see. Oh, okay, cool. And you know, story significance is important. I'm glad they actually give you a reason. It's like, why do you need all these energy cells? Well, this place has no power. And if you go closely. Ah, there they go. So we got these things over there. Oh, well, there's also these little things. Little They're mini-roids! Mini-roids! <laughs> oh, 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 no! I can't wait till Metroid Prime 4 and we get the micro-roids. Those are phase on shriek bats. This place got messed the messed up. We got, uh, we got these things scattered around the Valhalla. These tell you where the energy cells are. Ooh, that's... That's actually very helpful. But we've already got all of them, so there's no there's no need. Hey, it's still great. Does it tell you in text, or when you open up your map, they now show up? I think it appears on the map. Okay. That's extremely handy. Uh, uh, oh, oh no. Oh, dude, don't don't tell me. Oh, we got Metroids. We got Metroids here. <laughs> Oh, shit. I wonder how bad it is. Oh, uh, pretty bad. Uh, there they are right there. Is that? Oh. But check it out. X-ray visor. Dead. Yeah! Dead. It's the little, uh, the little egg sacs in them. Yeah! That's... Oh, the Nova Beam is so nice. That's the Nova Beam plus the X-ray beam. Good stuff. Ah! Oh, that's distressing. Oh, and it's putting little grubs on there. Get off! 
so, not gonna lie, that machine in the middle of the room, I thought that was like a Metroid Prime skeleton. <laughs> or uh, a, a Mama Troid, or whatever they were called in uh, uh, Metroid 2. Slag here to melt. Two more energy cell ports. How about that? Awesome. Two. A three. So you really gotta wonder if they ever remaster this, how they're gonna do it, because there's so much motion controls, from the grapple, to pushing into the, the cells, to even just uh, going on your ship. I'm sure they'll find a way to do it. Either turn the motion controls into a button command, or uh, actually have you use the Joy-Cons. It's a phase-ing! Oh, great! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, the, the ing and the phase-on? The ing basically melted into phase-on, and here they are! Awesome. This truly does feel like a trilogy wrapping up, which is why I'm I'm all curious. Metroid Prime 4, what the hell are you going to do? I wonder if it's even going to be called Metroid Prime 4. They might change the name. You you might be right. Metroid Prime returns. Uh -huh. mm. Planet Talon 4, formerly a Chozo colony, was struck by a stellar object 50 years ago. Object was later determined to contain large quantities of Phazon. Chozo were able to stave up the spread of Phazon at the cost of many Chozo lives. The survivors abandoned the planet, fleeing to an unknown location. Decades later, a hunter, Samus Aaron, responded to a distress call in the sector and discovered a space pirate Phazon mining station there. Aaron eliminated both the pirate and Phazon threat from the planet, though not without cost. Not without cost? Oh! I'm sorry, do you think you could have done a better job down there? I would love to have seen you goons try! I think the cost was the Phazon suit. Uh, 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 maybe, well. That was a really awesome looking suit. I lost it, thanks to Metroid Prime. There's, Shish. There's one more missile expansion. Uh, d there, are, there are 50 missile expansions. I may have said there were 51, but when you get the missile launcher at the start, well, there's your first missile expansion. Okay, so 250. 255. 255. But you're at 245. How many more do we need, friend? It is 250. No, oh, okay. That works. I mean, there, we, we weren't going to use all the missiles we ever got, so, hey, I, as far as I'm concerned, we were done after collecting 150. Now we gotta make our way up this little room here. But there's a whole bunch of electricity! Does this mean that if this ship were to ever properly open up like we're doing right now, Metroids could go into the sp go into space? Well, it'd be kind of hard to see how they would, like, go in space. I mean, I, w I wouldn't imagine, like, they, they do need sustenance, they do need food. Would they freeze in space? They don't like the cold. They don't like the cold. It is pretty damn cold in space. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So you could, like, take those things and just throw them into the atmosphere. I mean, they, they are, that's why they're not exactly outside when you think about it. You know... That's an interesting point to make. If we actually toss those bastards up into the atmosphere and then they suddenly adapt, it's like, oh, no. Oh, we made it worse. I mean, they, they are, like, bi like, bionic, I suppose. Not bionic, but... Yeah, because they were made to... They're, they're like squishy, fleshy parts that'll freeze in deep space. Oh, oh great! Oh, hello! Little spiky boys, oh. what are you called, Al? These are Phazon hoppers. They're covered in completely crystallized Phazon! I promote these guys! Phazon can go crystal. Ew. Of course, it can turn into goop, it can turn into people, it can turn into crystals, it can turn into mushrooms. It can turn into a viable uh, power source. It can do it all, and it can be yours absolutely free. If you submit now! <laughs> yeah! I think that's the last missile pack. No. Damn it. So it is 255. Wait. <laughs> no, it is 250. We're good. Okay, cool. Yay! All the missile packs! Just need an E-tank and, uh... Uh, I don't even know what's left. Here's the tank. We need a gun missile. Oh, right, right, right. Gun missiles. Gun missiles. Yeah. Something for our ship. I'm mistaken. There is one more. There is one more missile tank. My bad. Yep, yeah, you, 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 you fucking gaslighted me, man. I didn't or, or, gaslight or, nothing. Or, or, I, 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 I was looking I on the screen. I gaslighted myself. I'm sorry. 
That's then, right, because there's one more here on this lift, and this is the last one. Okay, cool. This is the last one. This is how we get to 255. There's actually a glitch one. There's 260. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, ooh. That, uh, ah. Uh. Thought I could be cool and make it in time. I am not cool. I could not make it in time. Nah, that's alright. That's the last one! That right there makes you cool. <sighs> Relatively speaking, I 255. Suppose. 255. And I want you to fight the final boss and just unload every single missile that you have. It'll take hours. Seeker missile, all of that at the same time? It'll take days. So Fast forward Missiles that fucking shit. suck in this game. Fast forward that shit. Like, how can a missile that's supposed to lock onto things just go, nope? I blame the motion controls. It's easier that way. Well, that's what a morph ball rocks. Oh. Hello, space. Damn it. Well, never mind my theory. They're perfectly fine here in open space. Well, well, maybe they're fine here because they can go in and out and, you know, they say, Oh, I'm cold, and then phase back on inside where it's warmer. That's true, But that's in terms true. of interstellar travel, that might be a little hard. Oh my god, I just realized there was some frost appearing on Samus's visor. Yeah, it's cold. I don't think they could, they could live out here for very long. Oh, that's so cool! Like, I think there's a difference between waiting outside for your prey to arrive that's and then... True, that's Let's true. go attack that planet from here! Charge! Yeah! They just... <laughs> uh, huh. It's a strange hailstorm coming, huh? <laughs> yeah, I a, forgot how to kill that thing, It's a I? good thing we humans made of X-Parasite can have this lovely, delicious frozen tree. Is there one more? Da, da, I thought Hello? I saw it. Okay. Okay, we're good. Rip these two things off and- Oh, looky there! <gasps> Clink. And... Yoink! Ow. Did that actually take health points? I think it took one. <laughs> I always love good gags like that. Or like when you roll bad. Uh, when you're, uh, playing D&D. &D. Oh, and that's like, a, that's good wait! You take one hit point for that, Samus. <laughs> I gotta go get that! Back into space. I need I that! Into space. Give me that! Into space. Get that guns! Hey! Give it here! Hey! Hey! You get back here, you! What? I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Get back here! Oh, I love this, I love this, I love this, I you love this. You get back on it! And now... Meta Ridley, for some reason. Ah, good, it, it, there. Okay, got it. We're good. It's all the gunship missiles now. I may have said there were 11, and that was only 8, because you start with 3, oh, and you okay. add 8, that makes grand, 11. Grand total 11, there, gotcha. There are, there are 8 ship missile pickups. Okay. I'm learning a lot about this game, Missy. <laughs> uh, sorry, friend, who tried to escape in an air vent. That was a space pirate, that ain't no friend. These ain't no friends! Get the hell on out of here. I just want to be friendly to everything in space. This is no time to be a space hippie. <laughs> Peace out throughout the universe, man. Why can't we all, why can't the Metroids and the X get along? <laughs> because it, it's, it's, do you ever get along with your food? No, and then food attacks. <laughs> 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 all right. Oh yeah, we're going all the way back around. Another energy cell here. We're almost there, almost there. Only got two left now. Oh man! I think I'm being shot by phase on Metroids, but that's fine. They can freeze out there. Ah, oh, liquid phase on. No, it's basically phase ings that made their home. Ah! Uh. Yoink! And that's all the E-Tanks! And by this time, we could probably just run through all the enemies. Oh god, look how... Look how aligned that is. <laughs> you, 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 you gotta love god. it. That's, that's, that's just pleasing on the eyes. I'm gonna scan the, the orange door here. 
Or a green door. It's a green door. Low level energy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it needs high frequency. Ah, gotcha. And that's why we had to come here with the Nova. Ah, get off! I beg your pardon. All right, let's just get out of here. I'm down for it. It's just a transitionary room anyway. So, between Phazon and Ecto Cooler, which one looks more like a children's drink? I'll go with the actual children's drink, Ecto Cooler. You don't just want to like try Phazon once? No. It has too many. Com uh, it has too many similarities to mold. Yeah, and I, and I ain't about that. That that wouldn't be it for me either. Like if it was just liquid phase on, I'd 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 be like, yeah, I'd try it, you know. Just like one quick swipe of the finger and then be like a sour, thick blue raspberry Capri Sun, you know. Thick and Capri Sun should not be words in the same sentence. Well, space and cancer shouldn't either. But here's phase on. That is very true. That is very true. And that's all of the energy to energy cells. And oh my god, all it was hiding was the final beam. The murder beam, finally realized. Don't be silly, Admiral. Every beam I use is a murder beam. Oh, it's another Metroid Hatcher! Oh, ooh, yeah, it's terror. Kill it. Kill it dead. Okay. There we go. You gotta love quick kills. They're so good. Oh yes. Another reason why we waited until now to start backtracking. You know what? F fuck it. It's better than murder beam is being able to quick kill another Metroid Hatcher. You gotta know how to murder. I mean, if you just murder, you're just a killer. But if you have some tact and some, some uh, science and some thought behind it, then you're a murderer. That's Ooh. wait. That's all bad. Don't kill people. It's yeah, bad. Yeah, don't kill people. It's bad. Yeah, don't be like this guy. This guy's bad. This guy needs to die. What does that make me though? Never mind. It, it's uh, it's complicated. Uh, it's, uh, it's my job, okay? It's my job to kill people. So you're a professional killer? No. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, I do get paid for it. I mean, uh, uh. Oh, so you're an assassin? No, actually, a bounty hunter that kills people. Oh, wrong visor. Uh, thinking of something different. Hang on. Uh, yes. <laughs> It, oh, it's a numpad. Uh, well. If only some idiot left their data pad open that had the password on it. Thank you. 78356. Appreciate it, friend. Okay, 78356. Boop. Uh, this is right when it was attacked. Just installed an Aurora unit on phase on or er, on, on phase phase now has Windows 10 installed on it planet ether home of the Luminoth was struck by a phase on meteor five decades ago the impact had catastrophic effects on the already unstable planet creating a dark twin of the planet and a dire race known as the Ing. a brutal war between the twin planets took place with the Ing gaining the upper hand the GFS tier went to the sector to investigate pirate activity but were forced to make an emergency landing on ether shortly after the entire crew of tier was attacked and annihilated by the Ing. hunter Samus Aaron was sent to investigate and wound up entangled in the local conflict Aaron fought against both space pirates and Ing and arose victorious. Aether's dark twin vanished, taking with it the Ing Horde, and the planet's peace was finally restored. After the Aether incident, the Federation sent the GFS Honor back to Aether to deal with the pirate base. Upon arrival, the crew and the ma Marines of the Honor assisted Nave Luminoth in his battling and abandoned space pirate main facility, and they uh, took some of the phase on, basically. That made the PED. Fools. I mean, kinda glad in hindsight because we're able to actually fight back. Still foolish. 
Well, there are pros and cons, and Dark Samus is utilizing every one of those cons, that's for sure. What is this thing here? Well, this is something that we need to move on. Can't beat the game without this. Acquired appears to be a space pirate entry code. We are unable to determine its purpose at this time. Now get out of here. Special secret code. So the idea is, is that again? Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open they, up. They went to the the Valhalla here to steal the Aurora unit. So now they put a uh, bioform artificial intelligence on their planet full of Phazon. Which means that they probably know a lot of the Galactic Federation's weaknesses too. Which is probably how they were able to plan this assault. So if we attack, we're going straight into an ambush. Our ambush is becoming the Federation's ambush. Uh. Or Phase's ambush. I mean, sort of, what this pirate code does is it kind of reveals where FaZe is. So you have to get all the power cells in order to beat the game? Yep, that's why they give you the exact places where you can get them. I mean, I guess you don't have to get all of them. Just enough to... Because you can take out power cells and put them back in if, you, if as need be. I guess if you open up one place, take the power cells out and... Okay, okay. Well, still, it feels better to have completion under your belt. They count as pickups, after all. But now we can get out of here, and we can finally begin the final assault on the pirate homeworld. Finally. Finally, yes! I feel like, I've been, I feel like Admiral Dane and the boys have been waiting for, like, ever. See, this is why they started backseating Samus. <laughs> Go over there, get the last of the ship missiles! Look out for the Metroids! <laughs> <laughs> Use the X-ray uh, You got it! Okay! And comms go off again. Okay. I, I just remembered something when I was thinking about us finishing Metroid Prime 3 here soon. The, ah! the only footage I have ever seen of Metroid Prime 3 is from an old Retsu Prey, where somebody recorded their screen back in 2007. Which uh, was the style at the time. Of one of the final cutscenes. But the thing is, it was so poorly recorded, I couldn't figure out what was going on. Yeah, I mean, we're going into the final world of Phazon, which is, like, all blue, so it'd be... Uh, the only reason I knew they were going to the final place was because we're going to the final place! All right, next on Metroid Prime 3. Uh, the final place! The, uh, the, not really the final place, no, but the no. final assault. Ah! We're finally going to take the pirate homeworld by storm. See you then. Oh.